In this unit circle survival guide, we'll find the exact value of cosecant 5 pi over 6, and we'll use the SARC method. So here's the outline. SARC is just a nice acronym to keep all of your information organized. So the S stands for sketch the angle. The A helps you remember ASTC, which will help you know which trig function is positive in each quadrant. And then you can decide should your answer be positive or negative. And that's just a nice thing to do up front. Then you don't have to worry about negative signs anywhere else um, in your analysis. The R stands for reference triangle. So you'll find the reference angle, the triangle that goes with that, and the coordinates so that you can do the final step. The C stands for calculate. You'll calculate your trig ratio. So we'll do this for cosecant of 5 pi over 6. So to start, S, we will sketch our angle. Look at our angle. C, it's positive, so we know we're rotating counterclockwise. And 5 pi over 6 is less than one rotation. So I like to start, here's 0, here's pi. Rewrite pi so that it has a common denominator. So it's 6 pi over 6. And that makes it really easy to see that our angle must have a terminal side, so 5 pi over 6 must be here in the second quadrant. Once you know where your angle's terminal side is, you're ready for step two. Think ASTC, all students take classes, and that's how you'll label your quadrants. So start in quadrant one, all students take classes. This helps you know which trig functions are positive in each of these quadrants. So starting in quadrant one, they're all positive. In quadrant two, only sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive. All the rest are negative. So since that's where, what, where our angle is, let's go ahead and make a note. Okay, we're trying to find cosecant. It's positive here. We've got that note and we don't have to worry about signs for the rest of our analysis. If you had an angle that fell in quadrant three, tangent and cotangent are the positive ones. And in quadrant four, it's cosine and secant. Now we're ready for step three. Let's find our reference angle. And a reference angle is simply the amount of rotation from your angle's terminal side to the x-axis. So that's right here. So we know to get from five pi over six to six pi over six, it must be a reference angle of pi over six. And that's the same thing as 30 degrees. So when we're thinking about special right triangles, we're thinking about the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle in the unit circle. So the horizontal leg is the long leg, the vertical leg is the short leg, and that should help you remember that the coordinates that go with this are square root of three over two for the x and one half for the y. Remember, we don't care about signs here because we've already done that analysis in the previous step. Now we're ready to calculate. So on the unit circle, the cosecant of an angle is simply 1 over y. We know it's the reciprocal of sine, or the reciprocal of the y-coordinate. So a quick calculation here, we have 1 divided by 1 half, because the y-coordinate here is 1 half, and we know that that simplifies to 2. Taking the positive sign we found in step 2, we know that the cosecant of 5 pi over 6 must be positive 2. And that's all there is to it. Um, I'll post some links in the video description uh, for more worked examples of exact values. I'll also post a link for unit circle basics if you need help with any of the individual steps. Um, there are lots of videos that I have to explain each of those concepts individually. So check those out if you need help. Um, keep practicing with your exact values. The more you practice, the better you get. Thanks for watching.